Hey guys, it's your boy Luke Trust Scott. Welcome back to the channel here today. Today I'm going to rank all seven Mission Impossible movies, in my opinion, from the worst to the best. Please uh, let me know what you think of all of the films in the comments section down below. How would you rank all of the films? Sorry, I'm showing you the trailer for Mission Impossible 2 at the moment, but as you can guess, that's probably where I would rank the second film in seventh place spoilers for the um upcoming talk about it but uh yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and with that being said let me give you my opinions on all of these seven films let me know what you think of all seven films and also let's have a fun friendly discussion about all of them in the comment section down below and on my social medias which I will include in the link in the description down below. With that being said, let's get started talking about the order of the seven Mission Impossible films. In seventh place is Mission Impossible 2. This movie is okay. There are a couple of fun action sequences, including a bike chase at the end of the movie and a fight in a biolab. The movie relies too heavily on action movie tropes like using a form of flame to get to the bad guy, the bad guy not trusting his henchman, the friend of the good guy bumping into the villain's henchman's wound, the villain being deceived by the good guy before the final fight, and the MacGuffin that has been used so many times. This movie tries to make Ethan Hunt more like James Bond, and he is not. Thankfully, the later movies did not do that, so this movie was a cautious tale of the franchise. Don't copy homework from another big franchise. I give this movie a 6.5 out of 10, which is a good movie in my eyes. In 6th place is Mission Impossible. This movie is not bad, but I do prefer the other ones. This movie led to characters either returning or being mentioned from this film, and it makes the binding knot of this franchise even more bigger. There are a couple of fun action sequences, including an aquarium restaurant exploding and a fight on the train at the end. This movie kickstarted a famous franchise and is more tense and suspenseful and leads into the spy elements rather than the pure and adrenaline action sequences. Tom Cruise is on fire here as a young and learning Ethan Hunt who finds out that his mentor is a traitor and working for the bad guy but there is an inconsistency with this character in how he communicates with the bad guy in the Ethan's original team is disposable and only have some witty lines and are good in a party scene. The main villain is okay but could be done better and I wish he didn't meet Ethan before the train fight so that his reveal to be the bad guy would have hit harder than it did in the film. The secretary Kittredge has a tense scene with Hunt and leads to him trusting him and using him to get to the bad guy. Max is whose legacy and reputation will seep into the franchise later. This movie has one of the most tense high scenes with the which has been parodied over and over again and in, introduces us to one of the coolest characters of all time, Lucas Stickle. Cool. This movie gets a seven point ten sorry, a seven out of ten, which is a really good movie in my opinion. Also, the drama between Ethan and his new recruits is done really well and it makes these scenes with them even more tense, suspenseful and exciting as well. In fifth place is Mission Impossible 3. This movie combines the action of the second one and the spy elements of the first one. Ethan has great chemistry with Luther again, but the other two people on his team are fine but don't add anything to the film other than to keep the suspense of the film going and to help Ethan get to the rabbit's foot and stop the bad guy who is much better than the other two. This movie also introduces Michelle Monaghan as Julia who is one of the best love interests of the franchise and has good chemistry with Ethan. There are a couple of action sequences including a fight on a bridge in case you Beijing. The suspense is done much better and the arc of Ethan using lip reading is done really well here. And the movie introduces us all to Benji Dunn, one of the best characters in the franchise. This movie gets a 7.2 out of 10, which is a really good movie in my opinion. In fourth place is Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. 
This movie combines the action and suspense from the last three films and is a movie which is a great and fun action film which keeps the continuity from the last film as there is so many awesome action sequences including a prison break, a Kremlin heist and a chase and fight scene in Dubai, Tom Cruise climbing the Burj Khalifa and a chase scene and fight scene in Abu Dhabi which leads to a fight sorry in Mumbai sorry which leads to a fight with the main villain in a car park w with the area moving and the villain killing himself for his cause. The chemistry with the main characters is great and the introduction of Jeremy Renner to replace Ethan Hunt never happened but he adds so much fun to the franchise too and is involved in some fun action sequences. The main villain isn't great and the Russian spies are way better as a second party antagonist to an ally and Leia Sadu as a third party is okay but could have been done better but she serves her purpose. Overall, the film is great and I would love to watch the film over and over and over again. This movie also is also funny with two with funny conversations and one-liners too. Luther and Julia also make cameos and are fine in the film. This movie gets a 7.8 out of 10, which makes this movie a great one in my eyes as well and deserves its place in the franchise. Also, the lighting, camera work, set designs, and every single uh, p lighting is done really well. The locations are great. The costumes are great as well. And all of the um, chemistries that the characters have with each other is done really well. And it's brewed to almost perfection. Bad Guys plot has been done a million times before, but apart from that, this movie is bloody brilliant and I would definitely watch it again for those characters. What a bloody good movie this is. And yeah, I would recommend it to anyone who loves action adventure movies or movies in general. Wow, what a movie. In third place is Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. This movie is great. It uses all the elements from the first four movies to make a fun, tense, good storied and fun action-packed adventure. This movie introduces us to Ilsa Faust as an MI6 agent who Ethan doesn't know if he can trust her or not. And the main villain uses everyone around him to get what he wants, which makes him a blowfield x character and is better than the other main villains of the franchise. Ethan has great chemistry with his team and they help him, especially Benji who helps him out in the field again. This movie is funny too and there's some witty one-liners and physical comedy too. There's great action sequences, including Ethan hanging out on a plane door, a chase through Casablanca, a tense fight scene and a talk with the villain in London, and a water scene to get the disc too. There were so many great reveals like the Prime Minister knowing about it all, and the head of MI6 being a traitor, allowing these events to grow into motion by making the syndicate. Which is kind of like Spectre in this movie, but it's done way better. This movie is great with fun action, great locations, suspenseful scenes, more fun characters and well done reveals. Also, it, the um, technical stuff is also done really well here. This movie gets an 8 point zero out of ten for me what's a really great film to watch and i'd recommend it to you all of recommend it to all of to all people who love enjoying going to the movies especially in the cinema if this movie gets re-released in cinema and i'd watch it again and again and again especially on amazon prime i know this movie's uh, trailers going on for a long time now but I don't usually store in things like this when it comes to rankings but uh, yeah this movie is bloody brilliant and there's only a few flaws that I have with it like sometimes the villain's plot is a bit weird but uh, yeah and a bit convoluted sometimes but I enjoy the hell out of this movie
In second place is Mission Impossible Fallout. This movie is a great action and adventure story which feels like a great sequel to Rogue Nation. They introduce more complex characters to the franchise including Elena the White Widow and he and her brother who doesn't trust Ethan at first who tells them that he is John Lark and that the joke comes back in the next one. They want to trade Solomon Lane for the Petoni in which Ethan and his team lost in the beginning and it leads to the fundamental theme of the film, save one life over millions. Um, this leads to Ethan and his team um, finding out that the CIA agent August, August Walker is John Lark and they find it out in a very tense revealing scene. Also they bring back Julia from the third film as it, um, a sort of um, way to motivate Ethan to stop the bad guy at the end of the film which is really great and this film ha has the action sorry the action tension characters and camera work lighting extras and locations are done so damn well in this film as there are no real flaw um, there are a couple of things in the film that I didn't like but apart from that this movie is great and I'd give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 this movie is a much watch for anyone who enjoys action movies. In first place is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. This movie combines all the fun, funny, tense, suspenseful and well edited and well filmed movies of the franchise and cooks them together to make a three course delicious meal that is a definite must watch. The story is done well and the AI makes the characters do decisions that moves the story along except for Ethan making it scared so that he can stop it from taking over the world. The main villain is okay but he will be fleshed out more in the sequel hopefully. This movie has great humour, witty banter and funny moments and a death that is heartbreaking and makes the movie better. This movie gets a 9.4 out of 10 and is a definite must watch for any movie fanatic too well that's all i've got for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this ranking of the mission impossible movies in my opinion let me know what you think of them in the comments section down below have a great day don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends and family or anyone close to you and with that being said i'm luke to scott and your mission should you choose to accept it is to watch all seven Mission Impossible movies when you've got the time to do it and go over and look through them in your own way and see if any of them have changed on your ranking or um, how they have impacted you or if they have impacted you throughout the years and uh, yeah hope you guys enjoy this video and with that being said I'm Luke Truscott and I will be back more with more videos for you guys in the future. So don't forget to look out for them in the near future as I make more content for you guys throughout the next few months, including more vlogs and rankings like this. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like the hell out of it as well. And with that being said, I am getting the hell out of here. Woohoo.